الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها O oh mankind, be careful of your duty to your Lord who created you from a single soul and from it created its mate وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ And we have certainly created you, O oh mankind, and given you human form This holy book, Quranic Cream, is a complete book from all aspects. I have seen the video of Dr. Zakir Naik about evolution. This video really disappointed me. Quran defines science-based evolution, but Dr. Zakir Naik defines funny story of evolution with the label of Holy Quran. In this clip, I will show you how Dr. Zakir Knight cheats, lies and twisted the Quran verse. Number 1. Dr. Zakir Knight says it is a theory not a fact. Sister, I have not come across any book which says fact of evolution. All the books say theory of evolution. There is no book I have come across saying fact of evolution. Even this new theory from Coin and Sydney W. Fox based on facts and experiments and proofs. Second, he twisted the chronic verse and he says, But is there research showing that human beings have been created from one pair? Again, it's just a theory. It supports the Quranic verse that human beings have been created from one pair, male and female. In this clip, Dr. Zakanai reads half running verse of Surah Nisa, verse number one. Third, he lies that the first man on earth was Hazrat Adam, peace be upon him. And says the first man was Adam, peace be upon him. Inshallah, they'll discover it hundred years afterwards or maybe a thousand years afterwards. <laughs> The Holy Quran never said that Hazrat Adam, peace be upon him, was the first man on earth. Now I will reply to the three lies of Dr. Zakir Naik with reference of the Holy Quran and I will interlate these references with science facts and science research. First, Dr. Zakir Naik states it is a theory, not a fact. Which says, fact of evolution. All the books say, theory of evolution. There is no book I have come across saying, fact of evolution. He says, it is a theory, not a fact. But, now this scientist, Sinead W. Fox and Cohen, both prove that their evolution theory with science facts, experiments and proof. Let's see what scientist Cohen says. And what happens is that a theory, that one in 1858, begins to gradually attain facthood as more and more pieces of evidence come down in favor of it and, more, and no evidence is found to refute it. Okay, so a theory becomes fact, evolution has become a fact. And if this theory is based on facts, I don't know why Dr. Zakhnai says it is a theory, not a fact. Now I am going to show you the second lie of Dr. Zakhnai. He reads a few words of Surah Nisa, verse number one. But is there research showing that human beings have been created from one pair? Again, it's just a theory. It supports the Quranic verse that human beings have been created from one pair, male and female. 
real verse of Surah An Nisa, verse number one, is that. O mankind, be careful of your duty to your Lord, who created you from a single soul, and from it created its mate. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala briefly defined evolution. Same thing defined by the scientists. As science defined, first process of evolution was microevolution. Same thing defined in this first single soul. As second process, science defined macroevolution. A same thing defined in this first mate. It means male and female. Third, science defined human evolution. In same thing defined in this verse, people. First, I will discuss microevolution. How Quran and Kareem defined all stages of microevolution. Same thing defined by the scientists. Now I will show you a macroevolution video and I will reconcile this with the Holy Quran. After watching this video, you will realize the scientists research and chronic point of view both are the same about evolution. This imaginary video tells Earth, this is Earth, four billion years ago. At this time, all the Earth was covered in water. Same thing defined in the Holy Quran, Surah Anbiya, verse 13. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And made from water every living thing, then will they not believe? And at this time, no kind of life was on earth because all water and mud under water was inorganic and life can only create or produce in organic mud or water. Now the very important question is how inorganic mud changed into organic mud which can produce life. Four billion years ago heavy cosmic bombardment on earth. After this bombardment, all mud became hot and baked. This procedure took millions of years. After this hot mud dried, something was new and amazing, and this was original life. And the first original life was bacteria cells. Because cosmic bombardment changed inorganic mud to organic mud and life can only create with organic mud. The source of first origin of life was cosmic meteor bombardment. And this cosmic meteor bombardment made baked mud. Cosmic meteor fire is the main source of life on Earth. Same thing defined in Surah Hijr, verse 27. And the jinn we created before from scorching fire. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Jinn we are created from hot fire. Meteor cosmic fire results first origin of life that was bacteria. Same thing defined in this verse Jin we are created from hot fire. Bacteria are jinn. How are bacteria are jinn? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, defined bacteria are jinn.
Because the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, advised to his followers, do not use cow dung or animal bones for cleaning because it is a food of gin. And every single person knows that lots of bacteria produce cow dung and animal spoon. And the next is baked mud because cosmic meteor bombardment made baked mud on earth. And in baked mud, lots of bacteria are which the first origin of life produced. Same thing you find in Holy Quran, Sir Rahman, verse 14. خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صَلْصَالٍ كَالْفَخَّارٍ He created man of clay like the potters. Now I will define Mac Revolution with the reference of Holy Quran. The Holy Quran defined single soul changed into male and female. Same thing defined by the scientists. And science says single bacterial cells changed into male and female. One and a half billion years ago, cells de developed their membrane. In the beginning, all cells were identical. 800 million years ago, cells changed into a multicell system. Gradually, they developed their organs and they changed their sizes and shapes. After that, they changed into male and female. Then, sea life started. Same thing defined in Surah Nisa, verse number one. And from it created its mate. Sabu ka tu 